folks, Chad Lachance here. We're here to explain to you why we choose the Ranger Z520C as our office on the water. The heart of any boat is, of course, the transom, and Ranger Boats builds the strongest, beefiest transom you can find in any performance boat on the market, including this Z520C right here. On top of a big, strong, beefy transom, there's no wood anywhere in this boat, and there's no air spaces. All the hollow parts of the top cap and the hull of this boat are all filled with expansive and structural foam that makes the boat feel like one solid piece on the water. Now the motivation for this Z520C is obviously this big bad Evinrude E-Tech right here. It's 250 horsepower, 3.4 liter direct injected V6 and motivates this 520C to about what any speed that you, you can handle as a driver. It's extremely clean burning. It's extremely quiet. In fact, it's got some of the lowest emissions you can get in any outboard. An excellent feature in the Ranger Z Comanche series is a boarding ladder. And a boarding ladder doesn't sound like much, but if you fall out of the boat, it sure makes it easier to get back in. You can deploy the ladder, climb right back in the boat, no problem. It also makes the boat a little bit more family friendly should you take a hardcore fishing boat for just a fun day of swimming on the lake. The Z520C was all new redesigned for 2013 and some of the key features of the boat include the additional width that the boat carries all the way to the bow. It makes for an enormous workspace up here on the deck and also gives you a nice flare in the bow to make sure that all any splashing water is pushed out and away from the passengers in the boat. This boat's 95 inches wide. It's got a massive front deck right here nice plush carpet and it's all padded underneath so that my knees and back don't get sore on a long day of fishing. The trolling motor pedals recess. There's a place to put your drink. There's tool holders right here on the deck of the boat. It's all set up to make this a very efficient and comfortable boat to fish out of. I can control all the key things in the boat including the trim on the motor, the bilge pumps, the live well pumps and all the lighting from right here up on the bow of the boat so I don't ever have to climb down away from my fishing post. Of course we've got flush mounted HDS9 touch units from Lowrance right here. They're mounted flush nice and protected and safe right there and of course you can see the GPS puck on the front of the boat. That GPS thing being right here right directly in front of me as an angler means that I'm as close to my waypoints as possible. One thing you'll notice on all the Ranger Z boats, compression latches to keep all the compartments waterproof because they suck them down to tight when you close the latch. The other thing is plenty of storage for your rods. You can see the seals right here will keep it dry. Tons of room for rods and boxes and whatever kind of tackle you need in each compartment up here. It's got all kinds of room. It's well thought out. It's well laid out. All the rods go in individual tubes up there and it'll keep all your fancy fishing tackles safe and dry. You've got slots in here where you can put all your tools and pliers, things like that. Of course, you've got a cooler right here with the same waterproof and a compression latch and a place for the handle on your net to slide up underneath there and keep your net out of the way. Now, one of the most fun aspects of a performance bass boat is driving it, and the, part of the reason is the cockpit is so well designed. In this case, on the Z520C, I've got a steering wheel that's small and easy for me to get to. It's easy and comfortable. I've got a trim height control as well as a motor height control on either side of the steering wheel so I never have to take my hands off. And of course I've got a foot throttle down here to, to make sure that I'm in control of what the Big Evinrude's doing at all times. A very important aspect is having this flush mounted HDS9 Gen 2 Touch Lowrance sonar and GPS unit mounted right here front and center. I never have to take my eyes off the road in front of me and be able to see my GPS map at any speed. And of course, if I'm idling around using my structure scan to find good places to fish, it's very easy for me to manipulate it and see everything that's going on. Now, inside here sits a little tiny iPod Nano. That iPod is controlled from the Lowrance unit and it's got speakers built into the boat right here. It also gets Sirius XM satellite as well as regular FM radio. So this becomes your entertainment system, your navigation system, your sonar, as well as your down and side imaging system. If you're short like me, I can slide the seat forward like you see it right here. But if you're a tall guy, you reach the lever and slide the seat back and you got all kinds of leg room. Well, I've got a step right here that allows for easy ingress and egress to the back deck right here, but it also doubles as a chair should you have a third person in your boat. If you happen to be the co-angler or passenger in this boat, you have an enormous glove compartment right here to put all kinds of stuff in, sunglasses or whatever. You've got a ramp right here for rods, including storage for the butts of the rods down here and your own strap to buckle them in so they don't bounce around. Storage compartments down here for miscellaneous things as well. Check out the live well system in this boat. 
big, huge live wells divided in the middle so your co-angler can have one side and you can have one side. And you'll notice that they've got a sliding transparent lid that you can see through. That way you can check your fish on one side of the live well or the other side of the live well without letting the fish that are on the opposite side jump out. You've got a major bilge compartment area right here. We've got four big giant batteries in the boat here. Three of them to run the trolling motor, one of them to run everything else, and then of course you've got the onboard Ranger charger right there. It's well thought out, everything's perfectly placed, and even over here in this corner you'll see there's a jumper switch that will allow me to jump start the main engine battery should I run the battery dead out on the water. Ranger Trails built more than 100,000 trailers and they've got it figured out how to build a quality trailer. It all starts with disc brakes on both axles, not one but both axles, which makes it excellent for mountain towing. It's an excellent safety feature as well. On the back of the boat trailer, you'll see that there's automatic buckles that allow the boat to be easily attached to the trailer at any point. You don't have separate straps or anything like that. It's very quick and very easy. And then on the other side of the trailer, there's even an emergency brake. So you can park the trailer, lock the brakes, and you don't have to carry chocks with you.